This is burning up, by the way. What is burning up? The hat. My head is keeping all the heat in there. I'm hot. Hey everyone, welcome to our holiday special of Fishing with Rod and Kitty Canhoffin. We are so glad that you could join. You could do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so hey everybody, welcome to our holiday special of Fishing with Rod. You are so rusty. Couple. I'm so brain dead. Yeah. Like you get me to do, this, to do this at like nine at night. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Rod. This is a, a holiday special Fishing with Rod episode, isn't it Rod? Yeah, it's a Christmas special, so, except it's, uh, it's not Christmas anymore. It's past Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well it's staying festive, look at this. Hey. Got our ugly sweater and Got the ugly hat. hat. On. So yeah, anyways, it's the end of the year. So I thought, well, why don't we do, a, do an episode? Well, it's not really an episode. We just kind of want to give you guys a review of the year and um, just kind of keep you updated on what's going on and what's coming up for us in the next uh, little while. And some Q&A. Yeah, we have some Q&A to throw a in there A few questions as well. we can answer as well. So anyways, it's been a pretty good year, I think. Uh, we've, done, we've done way too many fishing trips this year. Is there ever too many fishing trips? Is there ever enough? I think we're pushing it this year. <laughs> that was a lot to the point that we, well, a filming trip is a little different than fishing trips, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so um, it, it was pretty intense for a little while and uh, we decided to, we need to scale down a little bit before it gets a little too out of control, right? What was your Wait, favorite trip? Where is this going? <laughs> so what was your favorite fishing trip this year? My favorite fishing trip for 2017 uh, definitely was when we went up to Edith Lake for some ice fishing. Uh, I had been up there before with Freshwater Fishery Society BC and done some fishing for trout in the summer, but never on hard water. And I remember when you told me about this trip, I was super skeptical because for one, we were driving up the Coke and the snow was just everywhere. Yeah. Like they got a huge dump of snow a couple days before. And there was, you know, well, the Coke is one of the, the scariest highways in British Columbia and yeah. probably Canada. Yeah. And so um, I was really nervous about going up there, but once we got up and ready and started fishing, the fishing was unreal. Yeah. And I, we got brook trout and rainbows. Well, what you didn't see was the, the argument that we had like right before the trip. Yeah. You know, should we go? Should we not go? Like, no, and, we shouldn't yeah, be going and yeah. filming. Like, let's I was, wait. I was all, you know, ready to go. And you were so skeptical of my driving on the snow that you didn't want to go. Yeah, it was pretty scary, actually. It, well, <laughs> I, like, I remember slipping a couple times. We were like, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. So, yeah. We actually filmed that, but I, I, I got rid of that footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we had the GoPro running. Yeah, the whole I deleted time. it already, so no, nobody's gonna, gonna be able to see that. So, but but then the fishing was kind of like I, I think it was good because it was kind of like an exploration trip. Like we, we didn't know what what we were gonna expect, and we went out by ourselves. And um, the, the first day didn't work out too well, and the second day we got into lots of fish. And that's, oh, that's right, we did. We went to Edna first. Yeah. And we got there sound was fish. so much snow yeah. that day yeah. on the it lake. Was, we were fishing during the blizzard. The, yeah. the, the blizzard that we actually fought through, like pulling yeah. that sled, getting to our, our normal honey hole and trying to fish. It was, that was the coldest yeah. I think I ever felt yeah. all winter. So that first day was, wasn't very good and we were pretty discouraged on the first night. And the second day worked out great. The weather was great and the fishing was good. So. I think it was just more, more well planned. We had yeah. the yeah. fishing and the food and we had uh, Brian Chan gave us a little bit of yeah. help before. Yeah. So I liked it a lot. I think that was my favorite. Don't name drop there. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry. I think my favorite was probably Highway 24. See, and that's the thing. We did so many trips. Yeah. I forget about the ones that so I really So Highway liked. 24 in the Caribou, um, where we've, we tried um, fishing up there for the first time for rainbow trout. Um, and that was, that was great because the fish was nice. The weather was great. For once, when we went lake fishing, the weather was awesome. And then we caught some really nice fish. And then I lost my rod, you know, there was drama. And then I got my rod back. That was hilarious. I don't and know then, how that happened. And then we, and then right before we were leaving um, from the trip, we, we dropped a single egg right beside the floating dock. And then a big eight pound rainbow trout came out and then grabbed the bait and just ran away with it. And that was. I wasn't even ready for that. Yeah, it was just one, one thing after another one. It was just going to a new area that I've never been before. Yeah. You know, BC being such a big place, I've never been so far north, and it's not, not even really north. <laughs> it's not even really <laughs> not north, north at all. And that was great. It was, it was so, so exciting. I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking forward to go back again in 2018. What was your worst experience in 
2017 out of all the trips we've done. It, I don't even need to think about that. It just comes to my mind like that. Really? I actually don't know what you're going to say. The, the worst? Well, it, it was so cold. It was so frustrating. <laughs> and I was using braided line that kept freezing every few seconds, every few casts. The stamp was the struggle for me. Really? You think I was a... Yeah. It was, well, what, the, what I was using, it was yeah. so awful. And, yeah. and actually this year, I, when I've, you know, I've only gone out a couple times, but that line has already started to freeze, so I did not learn my lesson. Yeah. Well, you remember, you were making yep. fun of me. You, yeah. you filmed a little clip yeah. of me trying to undo this rat's yeah. nest. Well, I didn't have a problem with the line. It was just kind of, it, it was cold. Um, and I burnt my waders. Oh yeah. I and got the, holes in my waders. Yeah, because we had a portable heater beside the waders and yeah. And uh, actually, we even warned you not to stand too close. I swear you bumped me. Okay, yeah. But the best part was the, uh, the soup. That was, that was so <laughs> nice. The, the, the warm soup we had on, on the boat that was the best part, right? I didn't, I didn't actually think you were that frustrated during the trip, actually. I was Very good at masking. I was, I, was, I was having a great time, to be honest. Well, I, yeah, once we had the soup. Yeah, I was actually having a great time. And, you know, you, you lost that one fish. I was, I was just kind of being very mellow and... Oh, I was so mad. Oh, you were so mad. And, now that I think about it, yeah. Rip waders, um, your line was all screwed up and you yeah. lost the big fish. Yeah, it probably wasn't a very good For day. For me, like it wasn't, yeah. like that, that never happens. Yeah. Any yeah. other fishing trip. Like I've never had all that happen in one trip. In one day, trip. yeah. And it was really just cold too. Like I was so yeah. optimistic at the beginning. Yeah. Like we're gonna get to fish, no hats, and it it was like just five minutes down river. Yeah. I had my like mittens on. I couldn't use my pin. Like holding that center pin yeah. was just brutal. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, well, this year I got a lot of sweaters, socks. Good. Proper fishing clothes. Well, yeah. almost. Yeah. So I don't I, want to say worst experience, no, no. like most challenging yeah. most, or, or most frustrating because yeah. you know what, like we've had, well look how many times we've gone back. Like yeah. it's just, you have those couple things that kind of get in the way during a trip. And yeah. But you want to go back again and because you know the fishing can be good, right? So you yeah. want to go back in. And in fact, we are going back very soon. We're going back actually in, in a couple of days. Yeah. My worst experience is probably, well, I shouldn't say worst, like I say, most frustrating experience was probably Salmon Lake when we were up there. Do you remember that? But it ended on such a high note. But what was the high note? <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought it ended fairly well. Well, like maybe not when we were there per se, cool. but like at the end, like didn't we do, we had like fun with live streams, didn't we? Oh yeah, like, yeah, I thought yeah, there yeah. was so, some, yeah, there was so some enjoyable the, 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 moments The fishing there. was frustrating. I, I've been to Sam Lake before, I know how good the fishing can be. Yeah. So I was really excited, really excited to, to bring you there. And I thought, geez, we're gonna catch some really nice fish. Oh but, the, but the weather didn't work yes. out. We had low pressure going through and we had snow, we had hail, we had rain, um, we had wind. And no with fish, everything, right? or and, little fish. But, and the fishing turned off right after we got there as well. So. Um, so that was frustrating, um, but other than that, the, the, uh, the, the, the steak dinner at the cabin was pretty good. Yeah, the, oh yeah, the steak dinner. Yeah, the live stream was pretty good. Yeah. The, um, the scenery was really nice and the, the, the movie, the Netflix at night was pretty good. Uh, their dog is pretty cute. I'm trying to yeah. think. Oh, um, who was that gentleman in the boat too? I really enjoyed working with him. Um, can't remember. Terry, that. Terry. Terry. Terry, yeah. He was awesome and he was to great. talk to. Yeah, so, so what we got of that trip was, you know, really great fishing tips. From Terry, who's been there, for who knows how many times? Probably right? ever since it was built. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that that was probably my most challenging experience in 2017, I think. I know there's so many. Yeah, yeah. There's there's so many trips, and the other trips like the helicopter being being on the helicopter for the first time that was great. And watching those right? avalanches, I actually watched yeah. that clip again yeah. on my Instagram a couple a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. All the avalanches falling. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to revise that a little bit. My most frustrating uh, trip of the year wasn't even in, in, the, in the videos that we did. I think you forgot what was, what was the most okay, frustrating Wait, just one. give me a hint. I'll yeah. figure it out. February. Early February. Is it the freaking vetter? Yeah. <laughs> that was, I was so sick. Yeah. I was really so sick. That, that, that was that my trip. fault. I actually pushed her into coming back to Chilliwack and we fished on the vetter and well, winter still hit, and she was really sick. And we, we actually, like, like seriously, we actually had a terrible time in those few days. And we had heavy snow, 
Yeah. Right? Heavy, 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 heavy snow. snow, and we still pushed it, and and not only we didn't catch fish, and everything else just didn't work out. So that was probably the most, I, I would say, the lowest moment out of out of, out of all the trips. Salmon Lake was fun. Yeah, it well, was that, challenging. if you phrase it, it that way, like I yeah. wouldn't say that the stamp was my lowest. Exactly. Moment. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was yeah. just. I remember there's yeah. things that I did that I wouldn't want to do ever again or mm -hmm. experience again. Yeah. Yeah. So. But we're still alive. We're still here. For now. <laughs> Who knows what's going to come up in 2018, right? But what is going to come out of 2018? Yeah, I don't know. So we should get to the questions that were asked. But speaking of ice fishing, someone asked, um, are we going to do any ice fishing trips in 2018? Because he loved Edith Lake so much, right? Okay, my question for you then, when, how long does ice fishing last in British Columbia? Like when, well, is, when good, does it start it's, it's until, until when does it It's end? good from December until early March. Um, okay. That's kind of like the cutoff point where you don't want to be fishing too late in the season because yeah. the ice gets pretty sketchy, right? So January, February is probably the best time, right? Hmm. January, February. Are you going to be doing any ice fishing? Well, I do have this family day off that I could get off. <laughs> Um, well, weekends. I, I think you forgot what you say during Edith Lake. This is better than steel lighting. Did I just say that? No, I never said that. It was it was just really exciting watching them grab the bait and yeah. like seeing everything. And there were so many and it was such quick, it was mm -hmm. fairly quick action once we found yeah. it. And I was out fishing you. I oh, no, no, no. I, I caught more fish at the very beginning. And, and this always happens. No, this did it, not. It was the beginning. I always... You know, start out with good numbers, and then you always end up with a big fish. I know your fish. I you call, you I, lost some pretty big ones. I call more brook trout, and then you call more rainbows at the end. That's what I remember. I love. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. surprised we were trying to target more of the brookies, but it was yeah. just rainbow after rainbow after yeah. rainbow. But anyways, uh, I mean, the, the exciting part was watching the fish, right? But but most likely you wouldn't be doing any ice fishing because you're going to be on the island, and you're going to be teaching. She's a full-time teacher now, so. A little bit right. different from last year's Yeah, summer. exactly. So she doesn't have a whole lot of time to fish. Um, so most likely you wouldn't be doing any ice fishing, but I, I will be going out ice fishing. I will be doing a few ice fishing episodes this year. Um, got lots of new equipments to try out. Got a new Cabela's tent, um, new fishing rod, new ice fishing rods as well. I'm gonna yep. show you those, the really nice rods and really sensitive rods. Um, so I'm looking forward to go out in January and February to try out ice fishing while you're working. <laughs> Thanks, you can send me pictures. What other trips have we planned for 2018? I don't know what we planned for 2018. Like we have, our very first trip that we have planned is, is the stamp video. Yeah. We're going back again. Um, well, we yeah. haven't really planned anything to be but honest. Nothing, um, like it's so, it's so it's early. So ahead, I, yeah. I hope, right, that I would be able to be a part of some of the trips. Yeah. So Kaika Sound, we'll probably go back again. Yeah. In the summer, yeah. I want to go to the Skeena. When would off. you go to the Skeena? Maybe March and April. March, oh, during my spring break? Yeah. I get two weeks off. Yeah. Is that even good though, up at the Skeena during It can time? be. I've been talking to people. Right now? Yeah. Ooh, we'll see, you gotta Skeena. stay tuned, so. You can't promise these big things. I'm not things. promising, I'm just saying okay. possibly we might go to the Skeena. One, one trip I really do want to do with you in spring is bass on the island. Back at? Yeah. We should go to some of the lakes that we talked about yeah, last year. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So there's just so many places to go, right? It's, it's good and bad. There's too many places, too little time. When right? did we go bass fishing last year? It was early May. Early May? So That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll do that again. That was a lot of fun. We'll, we'll fly fish for them this time. It's easy. It kind of sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it would be good. <laughs> oh yeah, so someone was asking about Sokai salmon fishing in the Fraser. Can you actually catch them without flossing them? Don't want to ask me. I've only, <laughs> I only tried ever fishing for them like once, and that was. Years I think someone asked ago. that because because 2018 is supposed to be a big run. Is right? it? We're supposed to get a big run of sockeye salmon again. Um, Have you ever caught one? I've never caught. I've never gone flossing for sockeye salmon in the Fraser. So I've caught sockeye salmon in the Fraser though by bar fishing when fishing for Chinook salmon. Yeah. Yeah. When it's actually closed for sockeye, but they're actually hooked into sockeye salmon. So they do bite. Um, the only problem with, with um, sockeye in the Fraser, actually salmon in general in the Fraser, it's, it's because the river is too dirty. Yeah. 
right? They just come see. But with sockeye, they'll they'll bite. I was going to say on the island we've had yeah. sockeye bite. Yeah, we so caught separate or several different locations. But mm -hmm. out of the Fraser, I'm not sure. I I don't have enough experience yeah. to answer yeah. that one. And I caught sockeye in the in the Chilliwack River by float fishing with shrimp and roll and. I actually caught one this um, past cold season with, um, with a spinner as well. Would you ever do some videos in the future of river fishing with side, with side planners? Planers, yeah. Do you even know what that is? No. It's kind of like downriggers, except they, um, it's for trolling. I don't even know how to describe it properly because I, I've never used it before. Side, side planers? Yep. What's that? It's. Stay tuned, <laughs> we'll find out. Um, you put me on the spot, it, I have no idea I know, what this I know, I don't is. even know that, uh, how to describe it properly because I never used it before. Um, but it's for trolling, right? So it's, it's kind of, we have to go with rod. Like, is it what we did with rod? Kind of, similar, yeah. Just trying to spread the line out and, yeah, trolling. But, but that's the, the thing, right? There's still quite a few different techniques that, that we never tried out. And, you know, that's why we don't actually do videos on them unless people take us out. Um, we tend to stick with the methods that we've used before that we've liked. Well, you need right? a boat though. Yeah, you need a boat. That's the other I don't thing, have so. money for a boat. Yeah, so. I thought you are making money now. I have no money. <laughs> I am making so, yeah. a little but, money. But anyways, but we're always looking for new ideas. Um, anytime there's a chance of going out for a new technique, I will go out and try it out. So, yeah. Oh yeah, this is a question for you. So when spin fishing, do you cast your spinner upstream across the stream or downstream? A spinner? Or yeah, spoon? spinner. Yeah. So I was going to ask you, do you use spinners in the river, in the, in the flowing stream? Like, we have, but it's yeah. not my preference. Yeah. I like spoons better. I yeah. like using spinners in like slow, slow, like water. almost almost still kind of yeah. water, right? Yeah. So that's that's my preference as well. I mean, we tend to use spoons in like moving water. Like you can catch yeah. fish doing like yeah. swinging spinners, yeah. but it's not my... But isn't that pretty awkward when you cast upstream that it doesn't, it doesn't spin properly as it comes down? Yeah, well I try to cast normally right in front. And then it goes down, but it doesn't that create a little drag? Mm. Right? Well, with like this, you mean with the blade moving? Yeah, the blade, yeah. Like it, it works, yeah, it but works. it's just not, yeah. like just, I don't have the confidence. I haven't caught enough fish yeah. that way where I would do it all the time. Yeah, me too, yeah. But um, I actually like, this year, one of the few summer runs I actually caught, it was doing it that way, where oh, I actually really? casted hmm. up river, yeah. and I reeled towards me, hmm. and I caught one right, like, I don't know, fish yeah. are so finicky. Yeah, but I, I think that's just personal preference, right? You gotta try out different things, and it might work for some people, it might not. It's all based on retrieve Depends speed, on, and... Well, the retrieve speeding, yeah. like where you're, where you're actually fishing too, like how fast the water is, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, coming to the end of the year, we just kind of want to thank everyone for watching the videos and supporting us yeah. by keep leaving all the comments, all the really, really nice messages that we've gotten over the years. I, even for myself, like I, I really mean it. Thank you for yeah. you know all of kind of all of Rod's fans for really you know kind of welcoming on to fishing with yeah. Rod and and being super supportive and, and just helpful. Like yeah. I learn a lot from the comments that we get too, yeah. right? Like I love yeah. how the fishing community really works together as a team and mm -hmm. yeah. it's uh, something yeah. really great to be a part of. Yeah, now I think social media tends to get a really bad rip for this, right? Like, you know, they tend to be pretty negative, but, but it, it actually isn't. There's actually so many really nice people and when, when we need to get something done, like the Thompson River Steelhead, the issue, right? Um, by the way, sign the petition. We'll put the link in the middle um, for you guys to sign it. Um, when we tell everyone to do something, we explain the issue, and you know people step up and do it, and we we we're getting it done. You yeah, know, we're getting slowly. we're getting thousands of people involved in these fishery issues, and you know by <clears throat> watching our videos and and learning all these different fisheries and techniques, and then you learn about the um, what we need to do to save these fish and, and so on, right? So it's really important. Right, and so we're teaching, but at the same time we're learning as well from, from other people. Right, there are things that we don't we don't know everything. We I, I still suck. I still <laughs> yeah, suck. We don't know everything. We, oh. We're still learning. So you know, it, it's we're very grateful that people are providing feedbacks and every time you know saying, hey, maybe you should do it this way and stuff. Yeah, or hey, like hey, I like it when you film this way, or maybe add these shots yeah. in, or try going here, or try for that. Yeah, it helps really build the videos because yeah, we can't we can't just do it by ourselves. Yeah. And thank you for being involved this year. You're welcome.
It's been thank really you for hiring me on. <laughs> it's been really, really fun. And uh, yeah, once again, so thank you guys for 2017. Um, we'll try to do even better in 2018, even though we'll be doing less trips. But uh, I promise you, will be some really fun videos coming out again as well. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And until next time, good luck fishing. <laughs>